Hey, what is up guys? This is Jordan Ice 42 from DJ2 Diamond Gear, and today I'm with John's Fire 64 and Evolution PvP, and today we're going to be doing something a little different, and that is showcasing off to you guys how to make fully functional furniture in vanilla Minecraft. Now remember, this does not require any downloads or mods or anything like that, just vanilla Minecraft world and pure creativity. So, some of these furnitures include different colored beds and refrigerators and things like that, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first off we got the cabinets, and the cabinet was designed by me, and Jones decided to make it fully functional, so there it is. And if you click it, it holds up to 9 items, perfect for holding any item you want. I prefer um, using it for ingredients, such as these, right here, and um, like this, and yeah, those are the cabinets. When you want to build your cabinet, place down an anvil, get a dropper, put the dropper in the anvil, and rename it cabinet. And when you place it down, you want to make sure that the cabinet is facing towards the side that you don't want to see. Oops. That way, you don't see the dropper side. Then what you'll need to do is uh, left shift and place an item frame. Then put a light gray carpet in and make it like this. And then put a sign and make sure you don't type anything. Then you want to get black carpet and place it right on top like this. So basically you can put anything in these cabinets. So I just put a cabinet in a cabinet and some smooth sandstone and whatever you want. Alright, so next off, we have the fridge. And the fridge has one side fridge and the other side freezer. It holds, um, it, it holds all your foods and stuff. Like, right here we have all our delicious drinks, such as water bottle, orange juice, fruit punch, Sprite, Coca-Cola, and milk. The middle compartment holds our cooked meats, steak, AKA strength pot, fire resistant spot, and, and, all <laughs> and the bottom holds all our fruits and cakes. And then, as you can see, it says fridge on this side, and it says freezer on this side. And the top of the freezer holds our ice creams. The middle holds all our frozen meats, and the bottom holds our ice because the freezer is meant to hold ice. So I'm gonna show you guys how to build this. First you want a pressure plate, stone, two dispensers, one anvil, an item frame, and a sign. So first off, put down your anvil, put in one of your dispensers and rename it fridge. Next, put your other dispenser in and rename it Freezer. What? Freezer. All right, so we have a fridge and a freezer. And then we're gonna go ahead and leave these. What you need to do is for the bottom layer of both the fridge and the freezer, you want to make sure that it's facing against the wall so that you don't see it. And make sure the fridge is on the right side and the freezer is on the left side. And you want to make sure that middle one is facing towards you like so and the top one is going to face up all right so like that so freezer 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 fridge 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 next what you want to do is place down your item frames left shift left shift then you want to put in your pressure plates and rotate it so, and then, that's it, right? You put the sign on. These ones don't have sign. Oh yeah, they do. Alright, so put your signs on. Left shift. And there you have your freezer. Perfect for storing your foods and ice cubes. Alright, so next on our list, we have the microwave. And the microwave acts as the same as a, um furnace so I'm gonna show you guys how to build that so go ahead and put your furnace in an anvil and rename it microwave 
once you've done that, just um, I'm gonna do this. Can you move, Tommy? Move back for a second. <laughs> you want to make sure your microwave is facing towards the wall, as always. Then you want to put down your block of quartz. Put the button on that block of quartz. Place down your item frame on the furnace and put a glass pane. I actually recommend using a black stained glass pane, but since we're in a 1.7, 1.6 world, we don't have stained clays yet, or stained glasses. Then, I forgot this, but you want to get white carpet, and put it on top of both the block of quartz and the furnace. And there you have a microwave fully functional. You actually cook your own meats in it, so I'll show you guys with this. So here I'll get a raw beef out of the freezer and put it in the microwave. Just take it out and your steak is ready to eat. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fully functional bath and shower. So here's the fully functional bathtub. Water dispenses out. And here is the fully functional shower. Alright, so to build it, actually Jonas built these, so he'll be telling us how to build it. Alright, so um, what you need is basically all you have to do is make a redstone contraption and put a pist sticky piston. So when you press the lever, it opens up so that water can fall through. Alright, let's so shower. I'll show you guys how to build it. So over here, if you actually break this sandstone, there's probably, there's gonna be water behind it like this, but there's a sticky piston right here. So if you put the sandstone on the sticky piston, so the sticky piston's right here, and then there's a block right here. And on the other side of the block is the lever. So when you hit the lever, it'll move and the water will go through. And that is how to make a fully functional bath or shower. Next off, we have a fully functional toilet. Well, not fully functional, like you can't actually like go poo in it. <laughs> but when you hit this lever, it will make a flushing sound. So I'm gonna turn up my volume. <laughs> and when we hit this lever, you will hear a flush and I'll show you guys how to do that. So on the other side of this block, we actually have a command block. And if you guys don't know how to spawn those in, you just type give your name right here. So I'm gonna put Jordan X42. Um 137. And that will give you a command block. And in the command block you want to type this slash play sound space ambient dot weather dot rain space at symbol a bracket r equals ten bracket. And that will make the sound of rain, which sounds like toilet flushing. So Alright, next on our list we have the fully functional colored beds and these beds can be different colors and different sizes. So this one is a pretty large bed compared to the original Minecraft beds. And as I said earlier, they work, so can you guys demonstrate for us? Yep. You can actually lay down in them and they work as regular beds, but they just look a lot better in my opinion. So you guys can actually customize your own beds. Right here we have a Minecraft theme bed. And right here we have a green one and a larger um, red bed and just two different colored red, um, beds. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to build it. Just get your bed and place it down. Then you wanna get your favorite color wool block. Mine is blue, so I'll just get this um, blue block. And also make sure to get the carpet version. So I'll get the blue carpet and also make sure to get a secondary color so I'll get the light blue and the light blue carpet next you want to get snow and place down the blocks like this so get your um, primary color and just place it down and then next you want to put down 
Oops, this was to be the secondary color. And put the carpets, left shift, click. And then you want to um, put the snow five times. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just put down the secondary color. And that is how to make your own colored bed in Minecraft. Now remember this is fully functional, so if I set it to night, you can actually sleep in the bed, and it works just like a regular bed in Minecraft. Next on the list we have our tents, which is fully mob How do you get in here? Watch out, move, move. It's a... <laughs> what? <laughs> this tent is actually fully mob proof, and it has a fully functional sleeping bag in it. I wish you could crawl in here, like... Yeah. I wish Minecraft you could start crawling. Yeah. Oh, wait, I know what will make this better. What? An empty flower pot is always bad. <laughs> that was actually supposed to be like a coffee mug or something. And oh, okay. Yeah, you, you could put in your own clock. So, I built these different um, sleeping bags of different colors. So, we, I'll show you guys how to build it. So, there's Jonas in his sleeping bag. Tommy, come here. TB to me, Tommy. Where are you? Oh shoot, I oh. Go in your favorite color sleeping bag. Alright, so it looks. It looks like he's in They're all bag. my favorite colors, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna teach you guys nah. how to build this. <laughs> I stole it from you, bitch. To make your own sleeping bag, just break two blocks like this, place in your bed, and get your favorite color carpet. Tommy, what's your favorite color? White. White? Alright. Yes. So just carpet. It's a stain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you just... Bomberman? What's Bomberman? Click, click. And... There's your very own sleeping bag. Yo, let's play some... Chairs! Chairs. Fully Ooh. functional. Are they? Yeah. Ooh, chairs! <laughs> Fully functional, right? Yes. It is easy to build. All you need is one wooden slab. I mean wooden... Stair, Stair sign then, on each side. You can even write on the sign if you like. Fully customizable. And that is how to make fully functional furniture in vanilla Minecraft without the use of any mods or downloads. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe if you want to see more upcoming Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!